worldwide lot of companies are going bankrupt however bankruptcy need not be an unannounced disaster there is a way to predict bankruptcy and the way is known as altman z score the altman z score is a bankruptcy predicting tool this score measures the likelihood that a company will go bankrupt thus altman z score determines how likely a company is to fail friends if you can know whether a company is going to become bankrupt in the future will you invest in it obviously you want so the knowledge of altman z score may save you from possible losses in future the calculation of altman z score is simple and easy as everything is based on strong data the z score is the weighted sum of five ratios the formula for altman z score is this let's understand all these terms in details x1 which is working capital divided by total assets or the current assets minus current liabilities divided by total assets working capital is a measure of liquidity and how much cash the business has to repay its current obligations the company is in trouble will usually experience shrinking liquidity x2 is retained earnings divided by total assets retained earnings is the percentage of net assets that isn't paid out as dividends if a company has little or no retained earnings then it has to get money from somewhere to continue its operations so where does that money come from it will come from either debt or dilution this ratio calculates the overall profitability of the company if the company has high retained earnings it is retaining cash for operations instead of paying out dividends x3 is ebit divided by total assets This ratio looks at the company's ability to generate profits from its assets before deducting the interest and taxes. Altman refers to this ratio as the true measure of productivity. X4 is market cap divided by total liabilities. This ratio suggests how far the company's asset can decline before it become technically insolvent. Any drop in this ratio is a sign of poor financial health. X5 is net sales divided by total assets this is also known as the capital turnover ratio and is a measure of how efficiently the firm uses its assets to generate sales it is great indicator of efficiency and business quality when comparing against previous years the more money you can generate from assets the better it is friends for non manufacturing companies the modification of altman z score is as follows and for companies of emerging markets z score is calculated using following equation for companies like banks and airlines which don't manufacture altman proposed that 3.5 in z should be dropped for companies like banks and airlines which don't manufacture Altman proposed that the 3.25 in the Z3 should be dropped. Now let's see how to read Altman Z score. Altman Z score below 1.8 indicates a firm is headed for bankruptcy. Above 3.0 the firm is most likely safe based on the financial data. Between 1.8 and 3.0 is a gray area and the investor should analyze the company deep for investing his hard earned money. You should keep in mind that this calculation doesn't work for new companies because their earnings are too low. The low earnings negatively affect most of the ratios used in Altman Z score. Thus, new companies always tend to have a low Altman Z score. It is important to note that Z scores are not calculated for the purpose of estimating when a company will file bankruptcy, but rather it helps in measuring how close a company resembles the companies that have been insolvent